Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, like I mentioned on Tuesday's video, is going to be a look at how I am using my All Glam Planner from Walmart. This looks exactly like the Happy Planner and it is similar to the Happy Planner. I have this one which is kind of like the white background with the gold dots and it says you go girl with a cute little heart and um, this is the horizontal layout. They do have a vertical layout um, that comes like the happy planner with the boxes but this one is strictly vertical and I use this specifically for scripture writing. I have been wanting to do scripture writing for a long time but I just never cared to do it just because I felt as if simply writing out scriptures didn't do much. For me but I have found a way to incorporate scripture writing into a daily kind of devotional that I do so I'm going to show you guys how I do that so like I said this is the planner it is the all glam planner the you go girl um, design if you will and I really really like it when you open it up it looks like this so you have hearts on the inside cover this came with it. Um, these are just some sticky notes. This came in a box kit, which I hauled. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it. You can click the eye on the screen or down below in the comment section, not the comment section, the description box. But um, I just keep those here. It says, let's do this. This planner belongs to your name, 2018, 2019. I haven't filled that out. I rarely do. You flip it over, and if you saw my video, you know that you would have known that they were missing a page and then added extra pages for some odd reason. So I only have the yearly overview for 2018, which I rarely don't even use. I have some sticky notes, which are also from the All Glam Planner from Walmart. These are some sticky notes that I picked up from Walmart as well. I believe these are from their creative I can't remember the name of the uh, planner kit they came out with but it's kind of like a binder planner system it came with some post-it notes so that's what that's from one of the folders as well I put in here on the back side I found this I think on Pinterest um, it's believe bigger 30 day creative writing and journaling challenge it's 30 days plus two bonus days of just scripture writing, if you will. And I have it in here for one of those months when I don't know what I want to do. I have this, and um, I just keep it in here for the time being. I was going to do it this month, but then I found the scripture writing plan, so that didn't work out. So I just keep it there. And then we get into the planner. So um, it started out in June, but I didn't really utilize it until August, I believe. Yeah, August. So here is the June kind of divider i love it it's gorgeous it says don't quit and go for you and the confetti kind of glitter i only filled out the monthly with basically the things that i did such as like uh bible studies book reviews that i did um videos that i posted stuff like that so that i can keep in mind what was going on but again june was when i rarely was posting and things like that here is July's. I absolutely love July's like dashboard. It's so not dashboard divider. It's so gorgeous with the pink gold. It says Carpe DM. Here's the monthly sort of dashboard here. I really didn't use it as much. But um same kind of thing here. This is when I was writing down the scriptures that I wanted to do. And stuff like that. So then here goes into August, and basically on the dashboard over here, I was writing things that I wanted to read, things that I wanted to study, video ideas that I had, favorites, important dates, and then currently, which as you can see, I barely used. I just stuck a sticker here that says shine, and this is what the divider looks like for August. So August, I had it set up like this. Basically, how I'm using the monthly calendar for this is I'm writing in... The devotionals that I'm doing on the Holy Bible app. So every Sunday or so I would write down which devotionals I, were, I was going to do. They're called reading plans, but to me they're devotionals. So I was writing that down. And then writing out the scriptures that I was going to be doing for my scripture writing. And this was the Who I Am in Christ scripture writing plan from Transform Through God's Word. From with um, Transform Through God's Word is my sister Anne's... Um, 
group that she created, which is the sister group of Daughter of Increase. So I have been joining in on the scripture writing plans for that because, like I said in the update of the what's been going on, you guys know I haven't been myself and I wasn't keeping up with like my studies and stuff, but this was a way that I could was able to do that. So here was that first week and I kind of go about it like a color scheme, if you will. This first week, I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to go about it. So I was just writing out the scriptures, boxing important words, um, and then writing my thoughts on the scripture, notes on the scripture, or prayers, and just sticking stickers. That's pretty much how it was going. And then after Sunday, you had this section here for notes, and I basically would write down a prayer that had to do with whatever I got from Sunday in church. So that's how I went about that. Here was the second week, and I decided to go with a little bit more of a color scheme, if you will. Um, so that's how that went. The next week, and as you can see, I use a variety of things. So here I was using little sticky notes to keep track of my scriptures. Here I was using stickers and sticky notes to track the scriptures. So I really just use whatever I have. These are those sticky notes that I showed you guys in the front. These here I was using along with some other sticky notes too. So I try to basically stick with a color scheme for the week. Then we're going into September. So I did not use the dashboard for this month. I just, I don't know. I probably will go back and fill it in, but I just haven't. Um, it just says, Hello Autumn, because obviously fall begins September 21st. Here is what the monthly overview looks like. Um, so basically, again, I picked out my plans that I wanted to do on the Uversion app. And then I used these little stickers that I had picked up. Um, they actually came with one of my Bible tabs that I purchased so yes yeah, so I was using the stickers these stickers are from Aaron Condren I've had Aaron Condren's before too and then I also wrote down the scriptures for the scripture writing plan this one was um, praying through the praying through the names of God scripture writing plan again from transform through God's word and then uh, you can see here I have orange I'm gonna use the orange to write down the videos that I have posted so at the end of the month I'll go back and write down videos or if I know what I'm gonna upload prior to I just haven't done that as you can see so here was the first week um, I used these little gorgeous uh, pencil kind of post-it notes that I picked up they're so cute And as you can see, this is where things started to change. So back in the previous week, what I was doing is boxing important words, words that I wanted to define. But I got tired of doing that, so then I switched it up and just was writing out the scripture. So this was not too long ago, actually. Yeah, this was last week. This layout was last week. And um, this is how I solidified everything that I wanted to do. So I used stickers again to put down the scriptures. These stickers I got from the Recollections Faith Planner sticker pack. And then these stickers were all from the uh, Happy Planner Classic Faith sticker pack. So I just used my gel pens. And the gel pens that I'm using on this are the uh, Ink Joy Paper Mate Eat Joy gel pens. I always use the black one to write my notes and then a colored one to write the scripture out. In previous months, I did not use those. I was using a Sharpie art pen for that and then still using the gel pen to write my notes. But pretty much, I use a colored ink to write the scripture and black ink to take my notes. And um, like I said, some of the times they're prayers. So, like this one was a prayer, this one was a prayer, this one was a prayer. This was a prayer. And then some of these are just like my initial thoughts. Some of them are like a combination. And then this is a prayer from whatever I remember from Sunday or whatever I get from the week. Whatever I feel the need to pray for is how I did that. So, this is this current week. And normally I just keep this bookmark that came with the planner. I just clip the months and the weeks together so that I can easily flip from the month since it has the 
writing plan to the week that I'm on. So basically what I would do for the next day, which would be tomorrow, which tomorrow is Thursday, um, I would go to Ezekiel 48 and 35. So I'm actually going to do that on camera for you guys, kind of like how I did the previous video. Um, so... I think my brother just texted me a picture of my son. He got a haircut. Yes. Yeah, my my, my little brother um, took... I have three younger brothers. One who's 24, one 17, and then my other brother. But, um, yeah, this is my son. He is currently getting his haircut at the barbershop. So, yeah, he's getting... Uh, a shape up if you will I did cut my son's hair it just yeah I didn't want to but it was starting to irritate me and then he was already getting his hair cut regardless so I just was like let me just chop it all off but anyways I'm gonna go to what I need to go to right now and I have a whole lot of notifications here okay okay hold on sorry guys so Holy Bible app which I love to use which is my you version So, basically, I'm going to go to the Bible section. And I always do my studies in the New King James translation. Sorry, I had a notification. But I always do my stuff in the New King James. You guys know that I am a fan of the New King James. So, I'm going to flip to Ezekiel 48. Ezekiel 48 and 35, the last verse. It says, all the way around shall be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. So I'm going to try to check this out in the King James. And it's the last verse. It was round about 18,000 measures, and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. So for the 20th. The word is Jehovah Shema. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so give me a second. I'm going to Google it just to make sure I'm getting it right. I always Google things just to make sure. So Jehovah Shema. Yep, okay. So I Googled it. If you can see, let me take the autofocus off. I Googled it. And it's Jehovah Shema, Jehovah Shema, which is the Lord is present, which is, and again, Ezekiel 48 and 35. So, I like to look that up, okay? So, now that I know that I have the correct scripture, the correct word, I am going to write this in the New King James. Sometimes I switch, like, today's scripture I did write in the uh, King James because it didn't have Jehovah Sh Shalom. Um, it actually had the Lord is peace and I wanted the actual word. So that's the scripture that I'm going to write. And um, actually, I'm not going to fold it. I'm actually going to just take the sheet out. This is how I do it. So I take out the page I'm working on and move it to the side. Oops, sorry guys. All right. So the color I am using is the green, the same color that I'm using in the other planner. I normally kind of try to stick with the same color schemes in both planners since they're both faith planners and do the same thing in a sense. So let me zoom in and get this to focus. So I'm just going to be writing out the scripture. So... All the way around. Again, it's hard because of the way I have the tripod positioned, but we're gonna we're gonna get through it. So all the way around. Shall be eighteen. thousand cubits and the name of the city 
from that day. Shall be. The Lord is there. So that's the scripture. Again, all the way around shall be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. So that is the exact scripture. I wrote it in the New King James, so I don't have to put down a translation because I know which translation I stick to. So sometimes I will use other things. So I'm going to use Bible Hub right now. And just look up Ezekiel 48. My phone just did like a complete update to, to um, Oreo, which is for Android. So I'm trying to get used to the new setup that they have going on here. It's a little weird, but whatever. But I do have the cute new... Uh, they're not new to like iPhones. But, like, I do have the cute little um, emojis now, which I'm so, like, happy about that I have them now. See, I didn't have this one before, the star one before I didn't have, which other ones? I didn't have that one or the clown. Like, I'm so happy I have these now. I was waiting for this update on my phone for the longest, you guys. But anyway, so, I have Ezekiel 4835. I'm going to look that up. And because I don't really get a, a lot from it, from like personally reading it all the way around, shall be 18,000 cubits in the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. I mean, the Lord is there allows me to understand that the Lord is ever present, that he's always there. I get that. But I'm not sure what else there is to get from the verse. So then I do go to Bible Hub and I do look up things. Um, so you can look at it in different translations, but I mean, the translation is the same. So I'm going to actually go to commentary, C-O-M, and just look at it, you know, just flip through, browse through, read, and stuff like that. So I'm going to write down what I just said um, personally and then continue to browse through and look. So, um, one thing I don't like about the black um, paper and ink joint pen is that it skips for some reason and it irritates me. Like, so bad. The other colors don't skip, but this black one seems to skip so much. But God is... Jehovah Shema. He is ever present. And I am doing this a day ahead of time, so therefore I won't have to do this actually on Thursday. So just pretend it's Thursday morning at 6 a.m. and I'm doing this, okay? <laughs> so he is ever present in my life. Never leaving me. And I'm just going to write a prayer because I don't get a lot out of this scripture. So I normally will write down my thoughts. And if I don't get so much out of it, I just pray over the parts that I do understand. So. I thank you for being with me through the good and the bad. You promised never to forsake me. Again, this pen is skipping. Like, I don't know if it's just this pen because I did buy this one. So I do have like the full 14 pack kit, 14 pack kit, the 14 pack set of these pens, but I did buy these three individually at my local Rite Aid because they do have like sell some colors individually and I purchased these to try out. 
But um, for this, this this black one just keeps on skipping, and it's irritating, cause none of the other ones do that. So let me know if you have like the black ones and if it skips, or maybe it's just this one that I have. I don't know, but ugh. you promise never to leave me, and you never have. You've never done so. I'm grateful for your love, grace, mercy, and faithfulness. Toward me. Um, knowing you are always there, gives me confidence. Amen. So here's the, what I wrote. So, God is Jehovah Shema. He is ever present in my life, never leaving me. Then I go into a prayer which says, I thank you for being with me through the good and the bad. You promised never to leave me and you've never done so. I am grateful for your love, grace, mercy, and faithfulness, faithfulness toward me. Knowing you are always there gives me confidence. Amen. It's as simple as that. I don't go overboard. Um... With my scripture writing, I just try to make it as simple as I can. That way I can always go back and read the scriptures and write my notes on what, I mean, read my notes or my prayer on what it is that I did. And then I just clip it back together and there we go. Let's zoom back out. Put my pins back. But yeah, pretty much everything is back the way it's supposed to be, and then I can just flip and go to this page. So that is how I utilize this. But um, here is a blank week how it looks. It's just a vertical layout, nothing special. But um, in the back, what I did was so, like I said, they added extra things, like an extra stuff. So I put the other divider that they gave me an extra of of June in the back. Um, just because I like the divider itself like so much, so I'm actually going to cover that up where it says June and just keep the divider. Um, these are the other sheets. I believe they're from June and July. Yeah, these are the June and July sheets because I can still use these to do my scripture writing. As you guys have seen, I always cover up the weeks anyway, and I can always just cover up the date. I mean, the month at the top. So I just keep these back here. I have another folder, and then I have some of their... Uh, blank not blank sheets but some of their like line sheets in the back just in case I need to do more things but um yeah that's the back of the planner and that's it so this is how I use this planner for scripture writing I really do enjoy it if you can get your hands on them definitely check out Walmart for the all glam planner they are also selling happy planner stickers I mean let me show you guys the happy planner stickers I got Oh, not that one. I already had that one. <laughs> I think I picked up three packs of Happy Planner stickers from them. So I picked up the Productivity. And then I also picked up two packs of this one. I'm going to try to find the other one. I think this is it. Yes. Right. So I have two packs of the planner stickers. This is the one I'm currently using because it has a dot. And then the productivity. And they are so much cheaper, you guys. If you can find them at Walmart, they're only $11.88 or $12.88. Um, so compared to paying $20, definitely. And then this 
sticker set itself. Um, the All Glam Planner themselves have their own stickers. So they have this one here that comes either in a 15 sheet or a 30 sheet. And it comes in two different or three different color schemes. You have your bright colorful ones and then you have more of your like pink, mint, black, gold kind of color scheme. And if you can find this one in a 30 pack instead of the 15 pack, it is so similar to this one, um, the productivity one. So, yeah. But yeah, that's how I use it. And I hope this video helped you if you do have this or if you want to get into scripture writing. I keep my scripture writing fairly simple. I don't go over the top with it, but I don't um, minimize what I do at the same time. I mean, I try to keep it as clear as I can as far as writing out the scriptures and then writing my thoughts or a prayer and then on the notes section I write a prayer on Sunday nights when I get home um, of whatever I can remember from church or from what I felt throughout the week but um yeah that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.